If you have a fog machine that's not fogging, it's usually just one of two things. A fog machine is a very basic unit with two main components. You got a pump in there, which pumps the fog juice through the machine. Duh, very, very simple. And you have a heating element that heats up the fog fluid. Very simple to see what's wrong with your fog machine. First of all, plug it in. That comes in handy. Let me find a plug here. Here we go. And you let it warm up. Make sure there's fog fluid in it. I've got, I don't know if I have fog fluid in here or not. Yeah, there's plenty in there. Make sure there's fog fluid in it. Plug it in, let it warm up. There we go. So we're going to just let this warm up. And ow, we're ready to go. That thing, that was hot. There's a couple of screws on the bottom of this thing that are like really hot. So we know the heating element is working on this fog machine, which is one of two things that can burn out on you. Do yourself a favor and don't do what I did two years ago or three years ago. I wanted to see if my fog machine was heating up. So I figured, hey, I'll just touch this nozzle here, right? No, wrong. I ended up with a third degree burn out of that. So do not do that. And apparently these screws on the bottom of this machine get very hot. It's got rubber feet though. You're not going to burn anything up. So that's the first thing that can burn out. So now we know the heating element works. By the way, if you're heating, <laughs> I did a little spurt there. If your heating element uh, is not working, you might as well throw the machine away. It's going to cost you more to replace the heating element than it is to replace the whole machine, unless you have one of those humongous, really expensive units. Now, the second thing that I can burn out is the pump. We're going to go ahead and trigger this. And we are getting nothing. We got the motor, the motor is pumping, but nothing is coming out. So here's what we're going to do. You have your choice. You can go out and buy a quart of fog machine cleaner and spend, how much is this? $13.99 for that or more. Sometimes this is as high as $20, $25 for some fog cleaner. Or you can go to the store. I bought this bottle of distilled white vinegar for 88 cents. Which one would you rather go with? 14 to $25 bottle of fog cleaner or an 88 cent bottle of distilled white vinegar. I would go with this. I've been asked this before. Mike, if I pour distilled white vinegar in my fog machine and pump it through it, can't that hurt some metal parts in the machine? If you leave your, this fluid in the machine for any length of time, I'm talking, you know, hours and days. Yeah, it will hurt. But all you're going to do is what I'm going to do right now. Just simply Pour this stuff in. I'm going to turn this machine off. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> Spurt a little bit. I'm simply going to pour this vinegar right into the machine. Uh, actually, we're going to dump out the fog fluid first. Be right back. All right. Emptied out the fog fluid. Pop that back in the machine. Pour in our vinegar. I'm going to just throw in one bottle. Don't dilute it with water. Don't worry about it. Just pour it into the machine. Pop the hose in and put the lid back on. By the way, why would your machine get clogged, you ask? You ask? Yes. Because of dirt. Little particles of dirt can get into this bot in the here when you're like adding more fog fluid. Especially if you own a club or your machine is in dirty places or dusty places. You get some dust in there. It may or may not clog up the machine, but sure enough, that's usually what ends up happening. So I'm going to turn the machine back on. All right, she's warmed up again. <laughs> She's warmed up again. Come on. Okay. There we go. Oh. That was fast. What I'm doing is I'm shooting the vinegar right out of this. Oh, wow. It smells like a salad. What with Italian dressing on it. Anyway, that's what it's shooting out. Normally, it takes a lot more work to unclog your fog machine. Or I should say a little bit longer. It might take maybe trying to push the button till it stops maybe for 30 seconds and then do it again, do it again, do it again for about four minutes. And if it is going to get unclogged, it'll do it within that time. This must have had a very minor clog because I am big time shooting out vinegar vapor is what it is. So if you're opening up a restaurant and you want to push the Italian dressing, just put it in this thing. <laughs> this whole store smells like vinegar. So now we have unclogged the fog machine. 
We're going to go empty out our 88 cent bottle of vinegar. I should probably just save it. I'm going to save it. Instead of spending a whole bunch of money for fog cleaner, I'll be right back and we'll see how this thing works. I have our fog container all cleaned out. I didn't see any dirt in it, by the way, but it can get dirty. By the way, see this little filter on here? This can get pretty dirty, and it is actually dirty right now. Now, if I had any sense, I would clean this up. You can do that with vinegar. Soak it a little bit in vinegar, brush it a little bit. Make sure that stays clean. Anyway, time permitting will not permit us to do that right now. So we're going to pour, by the way, this is my favorite fog fluid. It's a Chauvet HDF, high density fog. There's a long hang time as I make a mess here. Okay. I might as well fill this thing up because this is for our showroom. And we use this machine a lot. There's three favorite machines of mine. This is my, this is one of my favorites. My absolute favorite is from Eliminator Lighting. It's called the Turbo Fog 1000. And then for a small machine, great for any kind of venue. But then if you have a huge area, my other favorite is the Chauvet Hurricane, what do they call it now? 1800 Flex. Used to be the Hurricane 1700. Now they made it the 1800. By the way, fire departments use this same fog fluid to fog up small buildings for smoke training. And they even use machines like this or the Turbo Fog 1000. And for the bigger buildings, they just happen to use the Hurricane 1800 Flex. So it's a great machine. So here we go. It's still on. Oh, it's still warmed up too. All right, let's see how we did. Move this stuff out of the way. We're getting the rest of the vinegar out of the machine. I don't want to shoot vinegar at the camera. Right, if you're beginning to see fog come out. Got to make sure you get all that vinegar out because that can harm your machine. So keep pumping out some fog fluid for at least a couple of minutes. Make sure it's really thick and you got the vinegar out of it. And we still are pumping out some vinegar because normally this would be very thick. All right, it's going to take a second to warm back up, and now we should really be able to fog this room up. Let me see. How fast. There we go. Wow, that's that's fast recovery time. I spoke too soon. Come on. So anyway, fog cleaner? <laughs> no, I don't think so. And you, can, everybody sells this stuff. American DJ sells it. Chauvet sells it. I think everyone sells fog cleaner. When you can just go to the store, I left the bottle in back. Just the regular white distilled vinegar is all you need. Here we go. We have a clean fog machine. The Hurricane 1200 cleaned with an 88 cent bottle of vinegar. That is pretty awesome. 